Hello everybody. I hope we're all having a great day today. I'm going to do a I'm going to do a special video today on the reeving on these dual drum A arms. Uh, I do get I do get a few comments on it. So I thought I'd do a real quick video. The instructions on on most of these tell you to Reeve one side, like this side. Oops, let me go to the other side. Like reeve this side first. You reeve all of this, and then come down and put it on the drum. And, and these are dual drum. You, one key turns them both. And then you put some on here. And then you reeve this side, and then you put it on the drum, and then you take up all the slack. To me, that gives a two drums with a different amount of rope on them. And I thought that didn't look real enough for me. So my thing on reeving, these dual drum, is I take and I string out all the rope and then, <clears throat> and then do it in half. In other words, loop it, and so you've got you've got half and half. And what I'll do is I'll start that one half, and I'll reeve all of this, and then I just leave the rope laying over here for now. Then I'll reeve this side. Now you all have to remember that when you reeve these, it has to have a crossover in it. Oh. Yeah, I forgot I messed that one up. They all have to have a crossover so that the rope comes off of this side, off the top. So when you reeve this and you're reeving around and around and around and around and around, it would come off the bottom of this last one. So there's a crossover. You, you come from this top one and instead of going, as you're going around, what you're gonna do is you come off this and then go to the back and then come back up and then they come around like this and then back into there so when I finish reeving this side with the crossover I'll stick the rope on here and then take this side that I have laying over here and put it on the drum and there's nothing on the drum at that point now as I start to roll that up it is even and that's why this drum has an even amount on it. You can see it. I don't, I don't, I don't have any difference in how much is on each one. So it pulls at the same rate. Uh, one with a lot of rope on it and one with a little rope on it is going to pull more on the one that has a lot more. Everybody knows that. So I try to do them like this. The biggest thing is remember that you got to do a, a crossover. Either I do it in the middle, but you can do it at the end. It doesn't really matter. Just somewhere it's got to cross over so that both of the lines are coming over the top and then down into your into your drums. Um, if anybody has more questions on it, I can draw something out for you if you if you're not sure. Uh, most of you that do this know what to do. Of course, this video is not for you. <laughs> I, I'm trying to get the people that aren't sure. And that this reeving is, 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 it's a pain in the butt for all of us. We all know that. So the new people like I was at one time and like everyone was at one time. Yeah, this reeving can be a little difficult. Um, let me go over here to this 1600. And there you can see the crossover. And you have to have that. Every one of these is going to have that. Now, the manis all do different. You can see that has more than one crossover. I read that like they show how to do them. And those are a little tougher, but I did do a video on them as well. And... and show my way of doing it 
I, I'll do one pulley at a side. I'll, I'll, at a time, I'll color it in with my pencil so I know where I am. And then put a little arrow going to the next pulley so I know where I'm going. It became easier, and, and I don't need to do that so so much anymore, but it sure helped me in the beginning. Anyway, back to these. Um, they're not too tough. Just take your time. Keep tension on it so it's not jumping the pulleys on you. I typically tape, when I'm done with this, I'll tape the wire right here. Put a piece of tape right here under the rope and then just leave all the rope over there until I'm done. And that keeps, that keeps it tensioned. Uh, that's the biggest thing, keeping tension on these things so that it doesn't jump off the pulleys. Um, reaving anything else has been relatively easy since I'm going over reaving. Uh, these are just, luffers are just over and under, around and around, and then tie them off at the end. So that, that's not so big of a deal. Um, hook block reaving, uh, I've gone over that. I've got several videos of hook block reaving. Um, some of them are a little tougher than others, but there's a way to do them. And you can see I got my little tie off on there. Yeah. Looks great with them things on it. YCC has them. All right. Um, that's about it. Um, there's not too much difference in all of these. Some of them were a little different. And you got to mess with them. But typically they're just over and under. With a crossover. Uh, some of these have one drum, so you don't have to worry about that either, like the 1280. <clears throat> uh, the 1300 there, that's just a typical way with, with two of them. So, any questions, hit me up in the comments section. Uh, I'll try my best to answer them as best I can. As you can see the 1600, it, it's got about the same amount of rope on each one. I did that just like I do them all. So that they have plenty of rope on them. And uh, you don't have a problem lowering your, your A-arm. If you want to do that. Alright y'all, I said I was going to be quick. Um, I think I covered everything. Here you can see the crossover even in this uh, Cabelco. I did it in the middle on that little pulley right there. As you can see, they got a flopper pulley. This thing flops. This thing moves. But that's it. All right, y'all. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see y'all later.